What's up guys, Rick with Rally Sport Direct and Guten Tag because this is my official review of our 2017 Volkswagen Golf GTI S. Now I assume the S is sport model, uh, but I think it's just the base model. And this review is coming from somebody who's a hardcore Japanese enthusiast. So let's get started. <laughs> First things first, let's talk about comfort, daily drivability, because obviously that's where this thing really shines. And if you think any different, you're delusional. If you think that you're getting, you know, a raw sports car experience or a muscle car or even quote unquote a tuner car, I feel like you have something wrong inside your head because that's not what this car is. What this car is, is trying to take <clears throat> the best of all of those different categories and put them into something that you can use every single day, day in and day out without a problem. Now, with that said, how does it do? I think this car for the money is one of the best sunny day, or I'll call it fair weather daily drivers. This is not a car that I would necessarily want to take up into, you know, the canyons for a skiing trip or, you know, attempt to even go off road in just due to the front wheel drive nature, the open diff nature of this car. But for a day like today, I don't know if I would want to be driving something any different that I could throw all my stuff in the back. I can cruise. It's got a decent stereo. It looks OK enough. It blends in enough. There's nothing about this car that is wrong in any way, shape or form in regards to daily drivability. It's comfortable, it's quiet, it's fun on freeway on ramps and off ramps and you can still throw it around a corner, which is great. So that's the next thing. How does this car handle? Well, if you've ever driven a Fiesta ST, the only way I can relate to this car is it's like a bigger, softer, more refined, Fiesta ST. It doesn't have quite that raw go-kartness feeling that a Fiesta has, but you can still throw this thing around a corner and just be left full of smiles. You can, the rear end is definitely happy on this car. The front end grips, you can feel what's going on, you know, between the chassis, the tires, the suspension. It gives you that feedback without being overly harsh or uncomfortable or anything like that. So in that regard, I say a big plus here, just because it does give the smile. Now I know front wheel drive isn't everybody's preference. Whatever your preference might be, it doesn't matter. You drive this car, you throw around a corner, you're gonna have some fun, end of story. And if you can't have fun in this car, then I'm sorry, there's something wrong with you. So let's talk about raw power, right? So it's got 200, eh, they say 210, 220 horsepower. 270 something foot pounds of torque. Well, we've got it in sport mode. We've got traction control off. Let's just go for it. So I'm just gonna put my foot down. I'm just gonna let the car do what it wants to do. So foot's down, little delay, little wheel spin, a lot of wheel spin, shifts. Now we've got traction and 80. Okay, that's enough. It's not slow. This car is definitely not slow. It has the get up and go you need. Again, for a daily driver, this is more power than you will ever need. If you complain about the power of this thing and you're not taking it to the track, you're not drag racing it, you're just going from light to light to light, going to and from work, wanting to have some fun, going you know, canyon cruising, you're, you've bought the wrong car and you should probably think about getting a, a better job so that you can go buy something more powerful. This thing has plenty of power and <coughs> power all over the place thanks to, you know, uh, high compression, direct injection, you know, small efficient turbocharger. But the only problem I have with it that I notice is the motor to me feels, you know, light and highly efficient and very well tuned and very well engineered. And then you have this like, deep throaty sound that comes from the intake and it just almost feels fake to me. I don't know if it is fake. Maybe that's the natural sound the engine makes, but I doubt it. 
you know, I think it's just one of those things where, you know, you go to the dealership and they're like, yeah, get on the, you know, get on it. And you get on, you're like, whoa, that thing makes a badass sound, you know, and it does. It sounds cool. But to me, it just sounds fake. The other thing I don't like, this is the DSG model. Um, it would take me a minute to get used to it. If I just let the automatic do what it's supposed to do, I have no problems with it. But if I tell my brain that I want to be shifting manually with the little clicky paddles here on the steering wheel, as soon as I go around the corner, I have no idea where they're at. They are, they, you know, I, they might as well just have disappeared because I cannot find them for the life of me. Luckily, the, the transmission won't allow you just to hold, I, maybe it will, I don't know, won't allow you just to hold it at redline and munch the motor, but shifting to me is a problem. And I want to use the, the, the clicky paddles here because it's a lot of fun to be able to, to, and it's quick, you know, it's not like it doesn't take time to think about your inputs. It just, you tell it what to do and it does it. Okay, sure, I'll, I'll do that for you. Um, okay, let's talk about modifications. Uh, I, I'm sure I've missed a bunch of other categories that other people would talk about and I don't care. Gets good fuel economy, great. It looks like a hatchback, great, I don't care. <clears throat> modifications. What would I mod first on this thing? Well, I, for one, I know usually my biggest complaint is seats. These seats are fantastic. Those are one of the best factory seats. They're a little fat boy-ish, but I'm getting to be a little bit of a fat boy here. And so they actually hold me in really well. They're comfortable. I love the plaid. I might be a hipster, but I really love the plaid seats in these things. Um, suspension. That would probably be my my biggest thing. I don't, even at my old, ripe old age of 30, whatever, however old I am, I still prefer a car that's a little bit stiffer than this. And not necessarily stiffer, but it, this is a little bit wishy-washy in the suspension. Um, Germany does a great job of making cars feel sporty but comfortable, and this is no different, but I want a little bit more sporty, and I'm more than happy to sacrifice a little bit of comfort if I can get that. And I think by going you know, maybe a set of springs, maybe some sway bars, something like that. Power to pass! Thank you, sir. That's what this car has, is power to pass. Um, you know, springs and sway bars might really liven up this car, make that rear end even more happy, just make the car feel more alive and more responsive. Probably at the expense of a little bit of comfort, but I'm more than happy to do that. Uh, wheels and tires, the factory wheels that came with this thing, in my personal opinion, are super, super ugly. And the tires, they're Bridgestone, Potenza's, RE, something, something, but nothing great. Just a, a decent quality all season. That, that's where this car lives, right there. Coming out of a corner, that car should have spun front tires and it didn't. It just hooked up and that makes the rear end feel like it comes around. That's what this car is all about. If you can do that 15 times a day, you, this car is worth every penny and more if that's your driving route, right? Corners like that or freeway on and off ramps. If you drive in a perfectly flat, smooth surface, you know, you could probably buy a funner car than this, but because it's not a drag car, but this is, that's what this car is all about. And I love that. Anyway, <laughs> wheels and tires. I think going with a, a, just a better looking set of wheels uh, and I want grippier tires, but I don't want it to be too grippy because I don't want to lose the fun of this car. And I feel like with the weight and everything, you could probably easily mess up the fun of it. Uh, and then other than that, I don't know, maybe intake and exhaust, basic, basic stuff. And I really want to see what this car can do. I know tunes, people are like, oh my gosh, you do a tune, you're going to gain like a million horsepower, bro, because Volkswagen Subaru suck and blah, blah, right. So we'll see what see what a tune does um you know just basic modifications but i'm pretty pumped for this car this is the kind of car like you could take on a road trip you can go pick your girlfriend up in it she's not going to complain you know you can take your 240 out your 240sx out on the weekend by yourself because nobody wants to ride with you um or your clapped out subaru out by yourself this is a car that you can actually go pick up your friends in and just go cruise and if you do the smart modifications you're going to continue to be able to do that and enjoy it for a long long time now for whatever reason at work volkswagens are starting to become super popular i try to tell people not to do it but they do it anyway but i think there's a reason for it and driving this mark 7 i think this is the mark 7 the mark 7 generation i can totally see why people just absolutely it's, just, it's a silly car this it's, it's a, i always want to shift it's just a silly car that doesn't have to be silly all the time. It doesn't look silly. No one's going to think you're silly for buying it. 
And it's as simple as that. It's a good car. And I think with a few modifications, again, in my last, I did the WX versus STI review and people were like, well, of course you're gonna recommend modifying all this stuff because you guys sell car parts. Yeah, we do, but I'm still an enthusiast. I don't care. I don't care if you buy something or not. I don't care if you go buy a Volkswagen. Like this is just when I drive a car, what I think I would do to it if it were my personal car. And that's that. This is exactly what I would do to it. Other than that, I'd probably keep most of it stock because I hate to say it, but I like this car. I like this car. Now I'm not gonna go out and buy one. Don't you know? Don't don't think that I've. Uh, I've changed my ways in that regard, but I do like this car. So anyway, stay tuned because we are gonna be modifying this one. We're gonna be working on it. It's gonna be a fun car. And uh, I'm excited to see, I'm excited to give a, a review once we're all done with it. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, das Vidania, no, that's Russian. What's goodbye in German? Uh, something. Goodbye in German, whatever. We'll see you guys later.